uh, yeah, so with my uh, with my Google that I purchased, it's got HDMI and it's got USB-C to USB-C. So it's just that little cord there that you need to pick up. Uh, I have one lying around the house uh, from my drone, so I've just plugged that in, and that's enough to power it up. What won't power it up is the normal USB port in the front of the car. So that will not power it up at all. You can't run like a big USB cable down. If you wanted to, you could run an extension lead from the back of the car through and then plug it in like what I have done as well to make sure it works here. And you run an extension lead from the boot to here and you can plug it in and get that working as well. Uh, <coughs> so set up through the Google Chrome manually on the screen. Um, so it gives you an option to go manually and then you find your hotspot, put your hotspot password in. So set up our Google directly to hotspot from the phone. Um, doing it through the mobile with the scanning of the QR code and everything like that, it didn't work for me. So I've had to actually manually go in and set it up that way. So once it, you will pop up with your phone uh, and then you can select it and then you can go into the menu. See, look, iPhone, there we go. And then it's just as simple as putting your password in from there. That's the iPhone that I'm currently filming on. Put your passport in and then uh, as long as you've got internet connection, you've got Netflix. As far as getting the sound to work in the rear, um, it is one of those things where it, it did take me a little bit of stuffing around to organize. So, let me go here. So you do need to select rear HDMI. You can only do it from these screens in the rear that I have found. Um, and then you have this touch screen here. So it's either headphones. Uh, so if it's not illuminated, so I'm not sure if you can see if it's not illuminated, this stripe isn't illuminated, that's for the headphones. If it is illuminated like that, it means speaker, which means everyone in the car will then listen to whatever it is that you've got on Netflix. If you've got girls like me, it's probably gonna be Frozen 2. So everyone gets to listen to it or goes through the headphones and then you can listen to a podcast in the front um, but remember setting everything up for the rear you have to do on these rear screens so once you've got once you've set up and you've got the kids going you know i like to hand the eldest the remote and away they go so it's pretty nifty once you've got it all set up once again thanks for watching uh any more tips any other videos that you want to see i've had a few sort of inboxes i am getting through them I do do um, all the YouTube videos and run a business as well, so I'm trying my hardest, you know, to keep up. But I really do appreciate the um, the feedback. It's awesome, and it just yeah it keeps me going and discovering new things, and then obviously reading the manual and setting it up for everyone. So yeah, for a hundred bucks, it's well worth it. Just remember, it is going to be on your data. So if you don't have a high data on your mobile phone, it may cost you a pretty penny to watch Frozen Two. So just be mindful of that. Um, something I haven't found as well is downloading off wi-fi so you can you know on your mobile phone you can download and then watch later uh netflix that is um i don't think i can do this on this google if you can and someone's figured it out please comment and let me know because i couldn't figure it out and i tried to search everywhere for it all right thanks guys